Welcome to jobskillshare.org and our unique course, IT Support Resume Applying for Jobs and Communities. This is uh, the special course for entry-level IT professionals who want to start an IT career. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time on YouTube, then uh, this video may be helpful for you as well. But this is uh, designed for our members who have been through some of the courses that will help them a lot in this uh, section. So searching a job is something we're going to discuss today and the unit is how to uh, search and apply for jobs this itself is a skill basically and it requires more than just you going out there searching and throwing your resume of course we we went through the introduction we went through this uh, template resume we talked about it and at this point i believe you have a good resume so now let's see are you even ready because this is where the moment comes in to take the step out you know you're going to go into the field right now so before you do that uh, for someone who's new and even people who are taking trainings in our platform are you ready to tackle this three w's if you're not ready in these three w's then you have a problem uh, where you need to fix and let's find out where the problem will be first of all is when first of all the first thing did you finish your training even if you're our platform member, have you actually finished the learning path that we talk about so much when we come to the community? Have you actually finished this learning path that I'm showing right now from step one to step six? Or have you finished a live training and have you followed through what you what you were taught in the live training? Have you even done the free stuff? So are you even confident enough that whatever uh, you know you're going for, the next title that you're going to apply do, are you even confident to to perform these type of skills so if somebody asks you questions about active directory ticketing system imaging deployments uh, troubleshooting computers troubleshooting windows 10 office 365 and things like that are you even confident to to answer these type of questions right away now a lot of people will say no you learn this on the job but that's that's what we're doing this is why we are here because we want to we want to lessen your stress so that's where another thing will come in a very important one are you even ready to work with people because this is a people job Help this is totally a people customer service job. Yes, you are a technical person, but you work with people all over. You work with people, people, people. If you cannot work with people, this job is not for you. So, so when are you even ready? So the thing is, this the next one is learning stress. Are you okay with this? coming stress that that's coming to you now even though you're learning right now on your own pace you're kind of a little relaxed but once you start landing this job then company will have their own uh, uh, softwares and things like that you may have learned a lot in jobsclashare.org platform but still we're not perfect you you will see so many different things that other companies are using and we may not cover that and uh, are you even ready for that stress salary are you okay with the salary that people are providing do you even know what salary they're offering in the market right now so are, did you even do that research before you even start applying for the jobs mental are you mentally ready do you have that uh, if somebody say no to you somebody uh, reject you in the process of you know applying for these jobs and what if someone reject you for the first time are you ready to apply for the second time did you learn from the first rejection and did that give you confidence or that just totally destroyed you and now you're just leaving the IT because you think people are too rude to you so if you're mentally not ready then you're still not ready right physically you have to look at yourself because this is a job where you have to bend down, you know, go upstairs, go down to different floors. You have to pick things up and you have to move around. Are you physically ready? So all of these things, you should look into it. And, and if you have something else, you should think about that. Because that when you cannot even proceed to the second one, if you are not uh, confident or you are not uh, okay with these terms that I just uh, explained to you if there is something that's missing there then you need to work on it to become a better IT professional and to also land a job easily this is the whole uh, you know the whole reason we're doing this course is to make it easy for you to land a job where so now this is where basically I will show you after that when you clear those things and for our members this shouldn't be a problem right here because you went through this stuff so if you're still missing things then you are slacking somewhere meaning you're missing some of the you're skipping some of the labs meaning you're just quickly going through and you think that it's going to be done and i'll get the job and i'll be okay but like i said you know after that job when people are sending you questions and things like that you know and then it's going to hit you back with all the stress so where then where do you go to apply for these jobs where are some of the it jobs that you can find easily 
My favorite site is Indeed.com. And the reason I like Indeed.com is that even other sites, when smaller sites are usually kind of picked on Indeed.com. So you will see some of them, their postings in Indeed.com. Indeed.com is famous everywhere. So you should use Indeed.com. But again, I live in the USA. I know it works in other countries too. But if you think that in your country there's another famous site, then that would be your first site to go to. Dice.com is also very famous. So you can go to Dice.com and I'll show you at the end uh, little examples. Craigslist is another place. Uh, you know, this is this is something that I mentioned in my one of my live meeting uh, with um, Richmond, I guess, and and he was a little shocked that even Craigslist provide this type of stuff. There's a technology section that people actually provide uh, postings for jobs. You know, so these are the things that you may find very easily. Actually, a lot of people put internships type of things in Craigslist because they they want someone very quickly, like the next day or two days or a week. They they don't have too much traffic in there for this type of stuff. Indeed.com may have uh, a good amount of traffic. Uh, you know, so that that's kind of like another uh, site that you should look into. Career fairs are an, another good one because people can uh, uh, hire you on the spot. So look around your area, your colleges, universities, and even just the meetups. You go to meetup.com and just kind of look around. That is, are is there anyone anyone doing a career fair? You can even go to Google and just type career fair, tech fair, and usually what happens, Google will pick up on the nearest career fairs um, in your area and then you can go to that communities is another one because if you know some people in community you go to some community places uh, libraries and things like that maybe you can find something over there too because a lot of people also teach in communities for free and then usually they have ability to know people and help you out freelancing is another place which um, I don't know if this is going to be a good place for you to start but again I mean this is also something that you can try maybe you can get a project or something with somebody else because somebody sometimes people are you know kind of like a, a business uh, IT business owners themselves you know they kind of go around and fix things and sometimes they need people they, they make more money they can pay you so at least you can learn that hands-on from them you can ask the person to you know give you credentials or put some uh, stuff on your resume because you worked with that person so it really helps too now the last one in this three three w's are what what titles are you actually applying for now if you have taken our courses you know exactly what title you're going for because we have taught this stuff throughout the learning path for almost however however much time you're you took in that learning path you learned this actually in fundamental it fundamental v1.0 course let me quickly show you this is the first step so you learn a lot of these things in the it fundamental course because we want to clear all this confusion three w's in the beginning because then you really focus on what you really are going for colleges usually when you start something and my issue was that in the beginning that they will throw up big names like network plus a plus everything together mcsa everything in one uh, you know semester or two semesters it just didn't make sense to me you know because those are three different titles people go to different jobs for that stuff so people got really confused like okay am i a system administrator am i a plus am i what am i well i have no idea and yet they are they have no skills to when you go to the the real world interviews people say that oh you know yeah you you finished your college but you need to start with our entry level help desk position you cannot apply to help the system admin i already explained a lot on that so then different work environment you also need to know this stuff because sometimes people if they have ability to pick and choose between two places then if you don't know you just go into something and you can you kind of get stuck in that area and usually what happens is that the first impression is your last impression some people can take that literally and and think that this is it you know so some people may land a job with msp so you know msp like service providers and sometimes they're very hard on people because they are client they're they're working with clients they're making money uh, through services and so they may be very hard on you and you may think oh my god you know this is it this is too hard and then some people land a job in non-profit some really uh, like you know a uh, high income non-profit and they they enjoy their life you know because they work yeah they, that's how it should be working everybody should have their own title uh, a network engineer is a network engineer a system administrator should be a system administrator 
entrepreneur should both should be working on different things that they are uh, you know uh, specializing in and whatever the education they have done so some co- a lot of companies respect that these days but there are going to be companies that they won't respect this they won't give a uh, you know two cent to the titles and they will make you do everything so you need to understand that in the beginning if you have time if you have the ability and you're okay you if you're okay with this uh, you know pick and choose kind of thing but sometimes you may not have that uh, uh, opportunity you may say that okay you know what i don't care i just want to learn things I, I can go to the msp uh, type of places and uh, they may be a good msp they may be bad msp it doesn't matter i'm just going to learn things and i'm going to put it on my resume and then uh, i'm going to move forward and after that you will look into commute too you know because at some point maybe the commute is too long and that can definitely come back to your mental health and the the longer it is the the more hours you spend in the car and you're working as an IT professional then of course it's going to affect you long term and i personally experienced that and and i had to adjust myself you know and here the benefits is the last one um usually a lot of people in the beginning will not care about the benefits but if you do have the ability to pick and choose again then you need to know what type of benefits are better for you and that's something you can a lot of people should do their own research that uh, the, is it covering my family members is it covering uh, vacations 401k other things like that you know that's something you should do uh, research on your own but these three w's are f- uh, for you to kind of like go over quickly and to see if you're ready and the most important part of this three w is when when is probably the most important. that's why i put a lot of things in here because if you don't have training you don't have some type of uh you know uh you know some if you don't have training then you you're kind of lost i would say in the it world and like i said to many people that yes you can land in it as an entry uh, level professional too many ways out there too many ways so what we're doing right now we're making it a little easier for people to to teach you this stuff once you land it you come back to our platform again and again to become a real professional or you can just go straight and learn few things chart applying still i believe you're going to get the job hardly but you're going to get the job that's not a problem here okay so now let me show you just quickly some examples how i usually go to indeed.com and how i search for uh normal entry level job so i'll go to indeed.com and i'll just type first i'll just type help this and i will f- i'll find some of the things like you know first i want to know what what kind of salaries are around uh, in maryland as you can see that it goes from 25000 there's a lot of jobs in this area but there's there are actually uh, with the same title people are paying 90k which is really really hard to get in help this 5540 is very normal in the D- uh, dmv area this is this is totally up to your place so a lot of people ask me how do you find this salary and i tell them just go to uh, indeed.com type the help this in there put your zip code or city and then find the average in here and you will see that it starts from 25 30 40 55 and usually pay f- people pay in here in my area 40 f- 40 to 55 okay so now how do you find an entry level job with help this just sometimes you got to change the title a little bit so help this put junior in there so when you put junior you see how quickly you will find some of the, the some of the jobs will have junior help this technician junior junior uh another junior you know you go junior not this one this is a web developer so then you see there there's going to be there, there's even a I, junior it system administrator so don't apply to this one because that's not going to work for you because you see how they're putting server stuff in here and something more advanced over here and and hyper v vmware you you don't cover that as a help desk you know in in any training most of training they don't cover this in in, in a more in a, uh, as a system admin you see two years plus two years plus two years plus so even though most of the stuff you do cover in the help this training like i tell people that our help this training is not just a ticketing system guy who sits on a desk he will assign a few things here and there or take calls you're actually becoming a real it professional so we teach you like a junior admin but the focus is help this so this is where you can change the titles by putting a junior or sometimes you just put one with it so when you put one with it you're going to see some of the titles will come with one tier one you know tier one and tier one again the tier one is also representing that junior level okay sometimes you want to put entry just entry level help this you know just put entry in there and you will see some of the titles will then come with like it internships because entry is something a very generic word and people will tag that to internships and things like that tier one again junior you will find that in uh, in this uh, search okay so that's how 
you find help desk. Now, that's not the only title you can do that with. That entry junior tier one, you can also do that with desktop support too. You can also do that with user support technician. That's another term for this. You can also do that with IT support, just putting IT support in there. You can also do that. So you see how you can twist the titles because you never know what people are using and how many tags that have uh, basically that they, they even tagged it properly to the technical terms so sometimes you have to work a little bit over here so these are the terms that I will prefer you search in the indeed.com okay in the same way you're gonna come here to the big sites like dice.com uh, also you can come here and do the same thing change around some of the titles and you will find out uh, some of the help desk titles over here and you can apply to that now, Craigslist. Craigslist, you go to the Craigslist. I'm in Maryland, so I got uh, more options. I'm in the MD or uh, DC area. So now when I click on it, you see here you can then choose that technical support uh, that I was talking about. When you click on it, you will see that there's, look, look there's a junior help desk uh, specialist available. Um, if you go down, there's a desktop engineer available. There, there are on-call computer technicians available. So you, you can see that here, even if people put junior or they put some experience in there, like I told you many times that there are going to be 10 companies out of 10 companies, uh, you know, even eight of them, if they don't like, uh, they, don't, they want someone with experience, maybe two might take you because what they see on your resume, how much you have uh, done the training, like, you know, you have uniqueness, uh, how much passion you have showed for your own learning. When you show something like this, that I have done Active Directory, ticketing system, this and that, this and that. And if, if you go against a college student, who who, um, who who don't have anything and he just have a plus or just a college education you already have that too and and this is also for the college students that you should also come and take these courses because uh, um, you need to be unique now because so many people are going to be like you when they go and apply to these positions so you got to do something different for yourself to to for your for your resume to start speaking for yourself okay for you basically and the rest I already explained explain that you should talk go to the career fair uh, look into some meetups uh, you know and then uh, friends are also a very great source if you know some friends uh, Facebook is also another good source because a lot of people that you may even don't know they they have uh, actually IT positions and you can just put one status on Facebook LinkedIn hey I need some help guys is anybody in the IT uh, are they hiring can you uh, you know hook me up or maybe a recruiter maybe they find they may know some recruiters so they can hook you up with a recruiter and that's how you basically get into the job and that's how you search for the job and that's how you start applying to these jobs and next I will then show you how do you respond how do you uh, you know when you start applying what are some things that you can use for yourself to make it easy for yourself to remember that job that you have applied to we're going to discuss that in our next video thank you